हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम इन चैप्टर सिक्स एओडी एप्लीकेशन ऑफ डेरिवेटिव स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी गोइंग देर इज अ एक्सरसाइज सिक्स बट देर आर ऑल मिक्सिंग क्वेश्चंस रिलेटेड टू अवर एक्सरसाइज सिक्स पॉइंट वन टू सिक्स पॉइंट फाइव ये स्टूडेंट्स इन डायरेक्टली इट इज अ रिवाइज अवर चैप्टर सो आई गोइंग द फर्स्ट वन यूजिंग डिफ्रेंशन आई दी डायरेवेटिव find the approximate value of 17 by 81 approximate value means exercise 6.4 related f of x plus del x yes fx plus f dash x del x where del x is what yes minimum number so here i just taking two suggestion in related to and suppose fx is equal to my question x raised to the power 1 by 4, where x taking, del x taking, but both summation must be. I want the 17 by 81, and again I repeat, del x taking minimum value. So here I write down 16 by 81, 1 by 81, 16 by 81, 1 by 81. It get 17 by 81. Now why taking 16 and 17, 1 by 81? Because I want fourth root. 16 fourth root known two and 81 fourth root known three. So I just start now f dash x d dx of our question and apply that simple derivative. So one by four x raised to one by four minus one. So my answer is one fourth x raised to minus three fourth. And students here our first derivative is Easily done. So students, one by four x raised to minus three by four. Now I just start x value and f x value. So f x sixteen by eighty one. And apply here sixteen by eighty one. The fourth root. It means two third the fourth root. So my answer is students two third. Now f dash x. F dash sixteen by eighty one, and that also apply in the other F dash x one by four, sixteen by eighty one raised to minus three fourth. So one by four here two by three raised to four power, and minus three fourth is again same four four cancel. Other I have one by four, two by three raised to minus three, and now. Just I rearrange. Yes, so one by four, it get to three by two, raised to cube because minus power already I converting into plus, and my answer is a three cube twenty seven, two cube eight eight four za thirty two, and now I going to students approximate value f of x plus del x is approx f x plus f dash x del x. And now apply their whole value. Your f x is a two third. Yes. And f dash x. What is your f dash x? Twenty seven by thirty two. And del x is one by eighty one. And here, students, very easily utilize your calculator and get the answer. So two third. This cancel twenty seven three is a three to the six three to the nine. And here, students, your whole answer. For the question, 17 by 81 raised to one fourth, and that's after utilize simple calculator, which is students 0.677. And here my first question is easily done. Now similarly, students, I going second one. Yes, find the approximate value of 33 raised to one by five. 33 means nearest to 32, 2 raised to 5, and 2 raised to 5 is 32. So here, students, I assume suppose our function is x raised to minus 1 by 5, where x taking 32, but del x taking 1, that is x plus del x. Indirectly, you have to 33. And apply your derivative f dash x d dx of x raised to 
minus 1 by 5. So my value minus 1 by 5 x raised to minus 1 by 5 minus 1. So that's answer is a minus 6 by 5. Yes. 5 and the 5 plus 1 6. Now, students, that is your f dash x. Now I just start first fx. And x I have 32. Apply on it. So 32 raised to minus 1 by 5. 2 raised to 5. And that becomes 2 raised to minus 1. Means how much? 1 by 2. And f dash x. F dash x 32. Apply on it. Here minus 1 by 5. X raised to minus 1 by 5 minus 1. So here are 32. Minus 1 by 5 same. And X raised to minus 6 by 5. Very easy. So minus 1 by 5. Here 2 raised to 5. 5, 5 getting. Now I just rearrange my both value. 2 raised to 6 is remaining. And how much 2 raised to 6? 2 raised to 5, 32 into 2, 64. So minus 1 by 5 into 64. Now I collect both value in the approximate formula f of x plus del x, which is fx plus f dash x del x. Now what is your fx? My fx value is a 1 by 2 and f dash x is a minus 1 by 5 into 64 and del x is only and only 1 and here students utilize your calculator and get the answer so my value is 1 by 2 here nothing 5 into 64 and you can try using Kelsey my data is 33 raised to minus 1 by 5 and here get one of the approximate value so which is students 0 0.4 497 approximate and here students our first data approximate related easily done now continue students question number two show that given functions fx log x by x is maximum at x is equal to e maximum minimum it means 6.5 related yes step one step two step three method yes students i apply first of all my first step and easily going to f dash x which is d dx of my function log x base e by x and what the derivative in denominator square denominator this derivative 1 by x now continue log x and x derivative is 1 this cancel only i have 1 minus log x base e upon x square and that's your f dash x now I slowly slowly going to second order derivative also f double dash x in denominator square it means 4 power d now x square this derivative 0 minus 1 by x now numerator denominator derivative x raised to 4 now simple you just calculate this x and this x we have to have double dash x it is only x and another as it is 1 minus log x base e x raised to 4 by x raised to 4. Now I just going my second step, step 2. What is step 2? A first derivative is equal to 0. And method you know, what is the first derivative here? That one, 1 minus log x base e by x square is equal to 0. It's very easy. You just derive value of x. Just compare both sides after arranging 1 is equal to log e base e. Can I write 1 in the base of e? Yes, log e base e. Now compare it. x is equal to e. Now target is what? Maximum at x is equal to e. So this x is equal to e. I check in double dash. So my next step, step 3, f double dash x and apply on it f double dash e. So my data is e minus 1 minus log e base e into e raised to 4 by e raised to 4. But now what is log e base e? 1. 
indirectly 1 minus 1. So, your value is F double dash E. E minus indirectly it is 0. E minus 0 by E raised to 4. 1 by E cube. And definitely it is greater than 0. So, I can say yes. Therefore, at x is equal to E, fx is maximum. And here students, my this data indirectly coming here, our one of the value. Yes students, here by mistakes, my mistake here, x and x cancel, here remaining are minus x. So here students, these are the minus x. Indirectly here minus e, this is a minus e and minus 1 by e cube is a less than 0. So we can say here it is a maximum. Yes students, indirectly here I my mistakes there, you just make the correction. It is x and x square is minus x. Now numerical done, but if you are asking here what is the maximum value, so you can apply here in the extra fx log x base e by x. Here apply e, log e base e by e, my answer is 1 by e is my maximum value. Yes students, if you getting less than 0, then you can call it is a maximum and that's here students, our this question is done. Now students continue, one more numerical third, this is also exam oriented. The question is, the two equal sides of an isosceles triangle with the fixed base B is a constant and decreasing at the rate 3 cm per second. It means two equal sides is decreasing. Eh? Then how fast area decrease if the equal sides is equal to its base. So students, this is your isosceles triangle. You know that there is one of the base and these two are the equal sides. I just taking that suggestion to have the x cm. Here A, B and C. And this base I just consider B. Yes. Now very easy. Start the first. Two equal sides of the isosceles triangle with base B is decreasing. Means this side is decreasing. Dx versus dt. Which is what? 3 cm per second. This decrease. And how fast? Area. So area of triangle. I just apply half into base into height. Yes, this is height I taking students. One of the 90 degree. And also median. So here you write down median as well as write down altitude. Because in the isosceles triangle and in the isosceles triangle now after that equilateral triangle both have median and altitude are same. So this altitude I utilize here and my target is how fast area decrease. It means d del by dt is target if read that when two equal sides is equal to base means if x is equal to b this your total fundamental question. I just start here base b median then b by 2 b by 2 and operate in this triangle ADC. No doubt it is median than half but altitude than 90 degree. I operate our Pythagoras. So in a triangle ADC angle ADC is equal to 90 degree and Pythagoras apply AC square is equal to AD square plus DC square. So my value is X square. Here altitude as it is. But what is DC? B by 2. So finally you can height define AD square. X square minus B square by 4. So what they get AD? Under root. X square minus B square by 4. And that value is your first height is declared. Now I start area. So area of triangle. Yes half into base into height and students both will you know now what is the half with base base is b and height is ad ad is my known value indirectly so it is under root x square minus b square by 4 now here students i start my journey to derivative respect to time second verses 
find out the area yes here students dx by dt i taking negative because the given that it is decreasing so you don't write positive it is a negative now i start derivative differentiation with respect to t only apply derivative here so d del by dt half b same and this derivative i operate respect to time x square minus b square by 4 yes b is a constant uh, only x variable so my data d del by dt half b same root derivative you know 1 by t times and x square minus b square by 4 now x square derivative to x but x derivative dx by dt and here constant derivative definitely zero this cancel now read question one more time if the area decreasing at a place of equal sides to equal is base it means this find out for only x is equal to b i put it there x is equal to b so d delta by dt half b as it is here x plus you can write down only b because they both are same so here b square square by 4 x value b and dx by dt is known decreasing 3 centimeter per second and that's you create your final answer d del by dt students half b here just going 4 minus 1 3 b square by 4 this whole root huh? and into b minus 3 same so indirectly your data is ready d del by dt half b it is 2 by root 3b yes root 3b and 4 is 2 and here students b into minus 3 now your final value bb cancel here 2 2 cancel and root 3 with the 3 just balance it so d del by dt is clearly minus root 3 into b centimeter square per second and this students area minus indicate what decreasing area minus root 3b and that's your answer students in the for your whole questions now continue students one more questions it is a most imp numerical many time asking in final exam and this question students printed in your textbook three place i mean three times question 4 question 23 and example 45 question is find the equation of normal to the curve x square is equal to 4y which is passes through 1 comma 2 yes it's a very big numerical huh? yes i going slowly slowly explanations consider this your curve and given curve x square is equal to 4y and given point 1 2 maybe lies on the curve either not lies so i just checking this point a consider and a point i just check to given curve lies or not compulsory checking huh? yes so x is 1 y is 2 here x and y check 1 is equal to 8 no they not lies it means given point not belonging our curve so here 1 less than 8 actually coming so actually your point is here you are here in the inside the parabola and that's your one of the normal and that is your tangent because tangent passing through a touching the curve and 90 degree passing through that tangent it is normal here students have a tangent and so i just suggest here one of the point p a comma b on the curve and point p defined first and after that i calculate equation of the normal so i start my sum suppose but this necessary you check huh? yes students if you hear one less than eight then internal point is equal to if you coming then on the point and if you more than coming then outside the parabola now here suppose p a comma b on the curve what is the curve x square is equal to 4y so definitely you also on the curve then attach on it value wise x is a square 
twice b that is our statement number one and this equation utilized at the end of the solutions yes now the given curve i just make derivative respect to x and if you respect to x derivative you define what slope of tangent after that slope of normal so differentiation with respect to simple x so you can derive it here d dx x square and d dx of 4y so my value is here 2x 4 dy by dx so what is the dy by dx 2x by 4 it means x by 2 and they indicate what slope of tangent yes here mentioned clearly slope of tangent and at the which place point also you known a comma b you never write down 1 comma 2 because 1 comma 2 is not belong the curve here operate it is a by 2 therefore slope of normal yes students now i going to slope of normal very easy minus 1 by slope of tangent yes students here operate slope of tangent and slope of tangent i know it means my value is a indirectly minus 2 by now slope of tangent ready passing through known a comma b after that i passing through 1 comma 2 so equation of tangent sorry my mistakes not equation of tangent equation of normal having slope is that minus 2 by a and passing through where passing through a comma b so my in equation of normal y minus y1 and x minus x1 y1 is b and x1 is a and slope is what minus 2 by a and here x minus a now here students simple you just operate the simplifications One of the a y minus a b minus two x plus two a. Yes, this a uh, normal passing through no doubt a b, but also passing through one two already given in question. So I just continue. It's also passing through one comma two. It is x coordinate one. y coordinate 2 so apply it here a2 ab here 1 2a 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 gone only i have ab is equal to 2 here students wait and again rechecking my equation number 1 a square is equal to 4b b you know and apply that so here i apply a what is the b b is a square by 4 here mention from 1 what is your one equation a square is equal to 4b here that and finally my value is create easily a cube is equal to 8 now what is the a 2 and a 2 then b is 2 by a from here so my answer is 2 by 2 it is 1 it means point a b ready 2 comma 1 yes students only this point is now defined after that whole calculations now i easily define my target what is the equation of normal very simple so i just start now slope of normal 1 by 1 and after that passing through so therefore slope of normal so does this normal already we define here minus 2 by a but a is known how much 2 so i just operate here minus 1 therefore equation of normal having slope Minus one and passing through 
स्टूडेंट हियर पासिंग थ्रू यू टेकिंग अकॉर्डिंग टू गिवन क्वेश्चन है नॉट पासिंग थ्रू टू वन येस पासिंग थ्रू वन टू अप्लाई बिकॉज ऑलरेडी गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन हाँ इफ यू टेकिंग टू वन देन ऑल्सो ट्रू आंसर कमिंग है बट हियर आई टेकिंग वन टू सो वाई माइनस वाई वन एम एक्स माइनस एक्स वन वाई वन इज टू स्लोप माइनस वन एक्स वन इज वन सो माई डेटा इज very simple x plus y is equal to 3 and here students our equation of normal it's very easily and happily completed here yes students this part is also i stop here and end this part further explanation for this exercise i explain you in the next part okay students bye bye